Hi students, today we're going to work on the present perfect tense and forming past participles. So up here we have some verbs. And what you have to do first is decide if they are regular verbs or irregular verbs. To make them a past participle, you add an ed to the end. So go through this list and see if you can identify which are regular and which are irregular, and then write the past participle form in these boxes here. What I suggest you do is just number your paper 1 to 6 and write regular verbs at the top, and then write irregular verbs and 1 to 6. And let's go through and see if you can identify which verbs are which. Okay, so here are the answers. And again, this is not always obvious, so we're just going to review it together. Uh, for the regular verbs, we have ass, so the past participle is asked. We have study, so the past participle is studied. And notice that the Y becomes an I. Okay, so it's still an ED, but we turn the Y into an I. Uh, the third one is talked. Four, you take try and convert it to tried. And the fifth one is underlined, and we just added an ed to underlined. So all of these regular verbs end in ed. The irregular past participles are as follows. Number one, do becomes did. Number two, forget becomes forgotten. So the simple past is forgot, but the past participle is forgotten. Number three, make becomes made. Number four, read becomes read. It's spelled exactly the same, but it's pronounced differently. I have read the story. And number five is write becomes written. Okay, the simple past would be wrote, but the past participle is written. Here are some more exercises to practice our present perfect tense. I want you to complete the sentences with the past participle of the verbs in the box, then answer the questions. Number one. Have you ever asked for more homework? And the answer is no, I haven't. So what you're going to do is you, in each case, you're, the, the questions are going to start with have or has, and then in the blank, you put the past participle. And then we'll go over the answers. Okay, let's go over the answers. Number two, have they ever been late for school? No. They haven't. Has Marta ever spoken in class? Yes, she has. Number four. Has Peter ever done the wrong homework? Yes, he has. Number five. Has your teacher ever forgotten your name? No, she hasn't. And number six. Have you ever read a book in English? Yes, I have. I hope these exercises help you understand the present perfect tense a little bit more. Each time you practice, you get a little bit stronger. Have a good day!